Throughout June, 20 library services flung open their doors in a celebration of one of the most international and diverse cities on earth, London, the city of stories. Led by established authors, we ran creative writing workshops and residencies that inspired writers, readers, and story lovers from across London's rich communities to put pen to paper and craft new short stories. Now we're officially launching the City of Stories booklet, an anthology that celebrates our writers, our readers, and showcases the short pieces that we worked on over the summer. These were the spaces that I discovered early on as a kid. That's how I started, that's how I discovered my love of books was in libraries. I think that shaped me greatly and I think if those spaces weren't around, I wouldn't be the writer I am today. I was in the school library, I was in my local library. It took my imagination to a completely different place. There's so many stories in the capital, there really is. I mean, um, if I live to be 300, I can never tell all those stories. And so I can always go back to London and um, you know, hear narratives, hear different stories, you know, from all over the world. That's what makes London so unique in a way. This part of London, diverse, multicultural, multilingual. This is England's story. It's about different communities of people arriving and making their lives. I'm just here in this library, but there are layers of history underneath me. It's the people and the history. You know, those things really mean that there's so many different things that are going on at the same time that, you know, you can just look out the window and see stories, you know. They're just lying there, man. There's stories everywhere. It's not about going into my study, shutting the door, and just ex exploring what's inside my brain. Writing makes me feel that I'm a part of all of the voices that are going on out there. The real value in writing really is to make you go to the window and look out onto the world. You create something which is basically it's going to outlive, outlive you. Right? Those stories are going to stay there, right? That story is just there forever. It's going to be in public form, it's going to be online. In some form or another, uh, it will always last, even if it's in people's memories. You know? We invite you to be inspired by the stories and to discover your own at local libraries across the city, the City of Stories.